Yes, we've been all about the multiplication drill uh, this semester. Uh, we showed last semester that we were working that we kept working and got as good with the multiplication table as possible. Um, I've called forward um, Ola Neon to demonstrate, and he's going to do just that. I'm going to pull up the table. Everybody can see what we've been working with. Uh, Mister. Um, here we go. I'm on actually another table. Here's Ola's. And every session, they can uh, start over, as you see here. We also work with a stopwatch. Right here, we're going to clear it out. Oh, and are you ready? Elenian, are you ready? Please say yes. Yes, I have to unmute um, my mic. I know. Okay. So you've done that. You are ready to start. I'm going to count you there on your mark. Get set, ready, and start. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, start from the top. There we go. So the, so the goal is for Ola Neon to as accurately as possible and as fast as possible complete this table. Uh, for uh, days and days, we started the class with this drill. Uh, there you go. It's getting its rhythm. And uh, we're just going to show you a little bit about how we do it. Good job, Ola. Good job. Keep rolling. We're going to now three, and the clock is ticking. We're going to pause them in just a moment. Wait, well, now it's done. Ola, Ola I'm going to stop you right now. Stop. Thank you. Uh, good job. Very good job. I want to announce the speed for all the students. Um, Asala. Uh, um, wind up at a, about a speed of about six minutes, and she could get that down as she keeps working it over the summer. Uh, Ola Neon uh, came in at a speed of about four minutes, uh, 26 seconds. That was his best. Uh, Adai at about two minutes and 28 seconds. Now, Adai probably could get that down a little bit if he did it by hand. I think Adai probably maxed out how fast he could do it in this electronic setting. Again, um, we started many of our days with this drill. The students have been on it. They've uh, done their best. They will keep going. Uh, Brother Salu, one of our younger students, we're going to hear from a little bit later, just for everybody watching to know, you can also do, do this table with addition. As you see here, you can add. You can also add it. And he worked that table quite a bit as well. Okay. Um, thank you for the Ola Neon. We're going to hear from you in just a moment. Uh, uh, more from you in terms of how this went for you and uh, uh, as you reflect o o over the year. I'm looking now to um, uh, pause my recording and it's not quite coming up. Maybe if I stop screen sharing there. Okay, good. And now I'm going to pause for a moment to be back soon. I'm going to pull up your page, okay? Okay, here we are um, for Asala to present the fractions of her family. And we're very happy to have her do that. I'm going to you show you what she has worked out for us um, from my screen real quickly. Um, Asala has this assignment on fractions and ratios of her family. Go ahead, Asala, and tell us what you have for us. Microphone muted. Okay, so I have two fractions and two ratios. So here I go. For one, express the number of children in my family in fraction form. The answer is five over seven because there are seven people in my family and five children. A fraction is a part to a whole. Number two, express the number of children to adults in ratio form. For the answer is four over three because there are four children and three parents. A ratio is a part to a part. Three. 
Expect the number of children more than 12 years old and older than 12 in ratio form, 3 over 2, because there are 3 people older than 12 and 2 younger than 12. Ratio is a part to a part. Fraction. Express the number of my mom's siblings, including my mom, who lives in Western Kentucky, in fraction. And that is 1 over 3, because my mom is the only one who lives in Western Kentucky, and her two siblings don't. A fraction is a part to a whole. All right, and Asala, I may have up your old um, presentation. I just want to make sure, because I know we worked this in class, the children to adults, you still have one to six. Um, in, in the presentation that I have showing here, I think you corrected it. Uh, I maybe don't have the correct form. Could you just say again what the, cho what the children to adults ratio is in your family? Four over three. The children, four, four over three, right? Yes. Okay, four children to three adults. And Asala, we worked this one this morning because Asala has a, her older sister, uh, uh, Hanifa, who was an old student at Aya, is now being considered an adult by Asala. And so she had to kind of go back to the drawing board to say, no, I need to take her into the adult part of the ratio. Good job, Asala. Um, very good job. Um, thank you for that. Uh, she made real uh, clear that a fraction is a part to a whole and a ratio is a part to a part. Great job. We may have some questions for you a little bit later, uh, Asala. Let me get us out of this one. Thank you.